welcome to another video. Walk of the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm in the town centre. I'm actually in the Sainsbury's store here, yeah, in the town centre. It's the first thing you see if you come out of North Station into Blackpool. I'll just show you down here, look, there you are. North Station just over there. Anyway, we have got the Rebellion Punk Festival starting today in Blackpool. So what I thought I'd do in this video is we'd take a look around the town centre, take in some of the atmosphere. It's a nice day today as well, by the way. And uh, we'll see what's going on, shall we, for the start of the uh, Rebellion Festival. Are there going to be a few punks around? Well, I, I should expect so. Anyway, let's go and have a look around, shall we? OK, so I've just made my way out of Sainsbury's there and I'm just opposite the train station now. Look at this here. Look at all them taxis down there. It looks busier than usual, folks. Is that because they're bringing loads of people up for the uh, Rebellion Festival? Well, there you go. Uh, I'll just show you around. There's a new, just in case you haven't seen it already, you've probably seen it on my previous video, it's a Holiday Inn, the new hotel and the tram station over there. It's all going on here in Blackpool. Let's head across the road here towards Bickerstaff Square. Now, Bickerstaff Square, which is where all the council buildings are here, the new council buildings is named after John Bickerstaff, the next mayor of Blackpool and the father of Blackpool Tower. Yeah, it was a bit of a mess before they built all this. It used to have, like, I think it was a car showroom. There was a, oh, some right tatty old shops. There was a carpet place. Oh, by the way, on a, a music note, rock music note, you see that building over there, the new council offices? That's where the Tash nightclub was. Yeah, it was right there, folks. Yeah, right in this site, right here. The Tash nightclub was right there. Yeah, so there you go. And that was uh, obviously a massive place for the, the rock music and all that. So there you go. Uh, we're going to head into town now and uh, let's see what we can see, shall we? And like I say, it's all going on here in Blackpool Town Centre. We've got the Holiday Inn there, and we've also got the new tram station. This is built on the site of the old Wilco store. And by the way, Wilco's have just gone into uh, receivership, and they're supposed to be building a new Wilco um, in another part of town. So what's going to happen with that? I don't know, but the old one was right here, where they're building the new tram station, yeah. Yeah, so there's a quick look at the uh, Holiday Inn from the other side, and the tram station is just to the over here. Sorry about the traffic noise. I tell you what, it's so busy in town. You can see the old Odin cinema over there, which is now Funny Girls. And uh, as I turn around, this building here behind me used to be the bus station. And it's now a gym. Well, a gym's part of it now. It's still got the car park up here, by the way. Yeah, anyway, we're going to head down this way into town. You know, I'm always learning something new on this channel. I like my history of Blackpool, and I always find out new stuff all the time. I want to show you something right here on the corner of Talbot Road and, and Topping Street. Yeah, so that's where I was over there, the old bus station. And I just wanted to show you this building here. We've got a building here called Prudential House. It's like a really monotonous looking office block. And uh, you, it used to be, a hotel on that site called the Talbot Hotel and it used to have a bowling green right there the Talbot Hotel there you go I saw an old picture of it just the other day yeah I couldn't believe it there used to be a hotel there and a bowling green anyway as I pan around this way very busy junction this is where the trams are going to come into Blackpool into the into the new station should I say not into Blackpool they're already in Blackpool aren't they and just over the road here we've got Mark Kelly's very handy for North Station yeah I wonder if any of the rockers will be going into Mark Kelly's. What do you think? Might not be that kind of music. Yeah, so here's another look at this uh, office block here, Prudential House, and this is where the Talbot Hotel used to be, right here, and the Bowling Greens, yeah? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to take a walk down there, uh, a little walk down Topping Street here, and we'll head into town. So there's another development going on here in Blackpool, the DWP offices, massive office block going on there. And uh, got a bit of a mural here, yeah, at the, the corner of Deansgate and Topping Street. Topping Street's looking quite lively, folks. We've got the Washington here, we've got some, uh, it's like we've got some punks outside the Washington, yeah. Oh, we spotted our first ones already, folks. Outside the Washington on Topping Street. 
Noch nicht so ein You know what, there's loads of them down here, folks. This is Topping Street. It was all done out by the council a few years ago. All right, fancy. Look at the paving there. They pedestrianised it. They, uh, they did a lot of the shop fronts. They modernised a lot of the shop fronts, trying to get a bit of a cafe culture going down here. And it's... it's uh, I think it's working a bit. It's not perfect. There are some empty shops. There's one there. There's a couple over the road that I can see are empty, but it's uh, it's not looking too bad. And I tell you what, there's loads of pubs outside churches. This is a very popular pub for them. Look at this here. Wow. Wowzers. Look at that. Churchills. There you go. Churchills are very popular. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? It's happening at the Winter Gardens. There's no concert outside. There's no outdoor event this year like there was last year on the comedy carpet. It's all indoors at the Winter Gardens. OK, I'm just outside this building now. This used to be called the Cedar Tavern Pub and it's supposed to be a new place called the Charleston. It was all done up and then it all came to a halt. Yeah, anyway, look out for these things down here. Look, on the ground outside some places in the town centre, you get the old cellars, and these were like the uh, what they had to let the light into the old cellars. Look around for these, because uh, there's not that many around now, but uh, it's quite interesting, isn't it? I wonder what's in there, by the way. Can we see down here? Can you see anything? <laughs> Probably some rats down there, what do you think? Anyway, this is Cedar Square, look at this. Wow. Oh, I tell you what, there's quite a few around here. Oh, it's very lively, folks. That's Siggy's over there. That's, that's a really good place, by the way, Siggy's. Really, really good. There's some nice restaurants, cafes around here. Look, we've even got, we've even got a fountain, folks. Look at this, a fountain. Well, here I am in Cedar Square, Blackpool, and I've just met some fans of the channel, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves. It's Dave and Sarah, they're from down south, <laughs> Kent and London, I believe, is that right? Dave? That's right, I'm from Kent, Sarah's from, from London, yeah, we come to Blackpool. Uh, Sunny Blackpool? Yeah, we love, it's a lovely day today, um, very lo lovely day. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And you're here to, for the rebellion, of course. Yeah. We're for the rebellion every year we come, yeah. yeah. So there you go, and you're enjoying yourself outside. What's this place here? Caesars. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we just had a, had a nice, uh, nice bite to eat and a beer at lunchtime, and it's lovely out here. Yeah, yeah Blackpool, it's awesome, isn't it? Beautiful. So there you go. That was Dave and Sarah. What a nice atmosphere. Yeah. So how about that, folks? It didn't take long, did it, to meet some fans of the channel visiting rebellion here in Blackpool. What a day for it as well. Look at this, we're now coming into, uh, this is now St. John's Square, because see the square, oh, look at that sort of there, by the way. You can see the Blackpool Tower there now, look. Oh, look at all these rockers here, folks. It's all happening in Blackpool. We're now at St. John's Square, and that's just across from the Winter Gardens, of course. The Winter Gardens is where the festival, where all the gigs are. They're all happening in there, so it's very handy, and they'll all collect around here. We've got the fountain going. This fountain, by the way, I haven't seen this working for ages, and it looks like Blackpool Council have uh, pulled the finger out and managed to uh, get it working. Someone's enjoying themselves in there. So there you go, this is how it looks in St John's Square on a sunny Thursday, the first day of Rebellion. Oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what an atmosphere, folks. Just look at this here, look. Look at all sat down here, wow. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of people coming out of the Winter Gardens here, folks. Look at this. It's underway. Rebellion. 20. 23. Yeah. 
There's never any trouble either at the Rebellion events. Just look how busy it is. Wow. This is the Hive, by the way. The Hive. Very, very popular here in Blackpool. Visit the Hive if you get a chance. It's, uh, they also have like displays by local artists, photographers in there on the wall. So you might want to check that place out there. I was just saying hello to another fan back there. He wasn't too far away. Up, up there. He's just visiting from Fleetwood, so he didn't have too far to come. But yeah, this is how it looks in Blackpool for Rebellion. We've got a lot of crazy haircuts. <laughs> Oh. Look at these haircuts, oh my goodness, look at that, wow, just, that is impressive. Anyway, I want to show you something, just down here, to the right hand side, there's a pub called the Rose and Crown, and it's where a lot of them collect, because the Rose and Crown host the Tash, the new Tash, that is, the new Tash. Look up, you never know what you might see in Blackpool. I can see Rawcliffs up there. They used to be a school outfitters, yeah. Rawcliffs, yeah. We used to get our uh, school uniform from Rawcliffs, yeah. Anyway, this is Costa Coffee. I just wondered whether there might be some punks in Costa Coffee, and yes, there are, yeah. They're everywhere in Blackpool. Anyway, I'm gonna head down this road Hey, this is Corporation Street. Now, just up here on the corner is a pub called the Rose and Crown. Like I say, the new Tash. Nothing like the old one, by the way, but it's a new Tash rock club. Hosts the Rebellion Festival these days. So let's have a little look down here, shall we, on the corner. I can hear music. Oh, well, they're playing music in there, and they don't want that music to get picked up. But this is outside the Rose and Crown, folks. Yeah, look at it, it's absolutely packed and they're only just warming up at the moment, by the way. This place will be absolutely stuffed later. <laughs> Someone's record. <"Hey!" laughs> yeah, we're just meeting some more fans there. I've actually met him before, actually, in a local pub. So there you go. This is Burley Street, by the way. That's brilliant. And that was the Rose and Crown. And they're all outside the Rose and Crown. In fact, they're everywhere, aren't they? What an atmosphere in Blackpool. So that's where I was there, Burley Street. I've come up here now to Abingdon Street. And, uh, yeah. It's a bit noisy. There's a guy over here. Is uh, making all the noise around here for a second after. Look at Rebellion in Blackpool, a warm up. It's a Thursday, like I said, they're just getting warmed up. This is nothing, folks. Just wait until the weekend, and if you're thinking of coming to Blackpool, you definitely want to check out Rebellion. In fact, you won't miss it if you're coming up here this weekend. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.